So now we need to build our relationships uh, and understand mathematically and conceptually how we build our L series reactive circuits mathematically. The series RL circuit then that you see to the right, one resistor, one inductor in series forms the phasor impedance relationship Z equals R plus J X sub L. The impedance of a series RL circuit then is determined by the resistance and the inductive reactance. The inductive reactance then is expressed then as a phasor, just like we saw in the in the previous with capacitors, a phasor quantity in a rectangular form as X sub L is equal to J X sub L. Notice again we carry with the bold here, the bold telling us that it's a phasor relationship. In the series RL circuit then the total impedance is the phasor sum R plus J X sub L. In the capacitive one we had a negative relationship for our X sub C. The development then of the impedance triangle for a series RL circuit then um, we can see here the relationship between X sub L and R. Again we start off with that 90 degree uh, difference, phase difference. In AC analysis, then both R and X sub L are treated as phasor quantities, with X sub L appearing at a 90 degree angle with respect to the resistor. This re resist relationship then comes from the fact that the inductor voltage V sub L in series with R in an RL series circuit leads the current I and thus the resistor voltage V sub R by 90 degrees. The development then of the impedance triangle for a series RL circuit then we can see that with that phasor relationship we have a sum, a vector sum here which is really just the resultant of our uh, combining these two phasor quantities for X sub L and R together into a resultant. That resultant forms primarily basically the hypotenuse of a right triangle. C then is the phasor sum of R and J X sub L in rectangular and polar Z at an angle of theta. Mathematically the sum then the vector sum for the impedance R squared plus X sub L squared take the square root gives us the resultant and the angle then formed is theta is equal to the inverse tangent of X sub L over R. So a repositioning then of the phasors forms that right triangle called the impedance triangle. So you can see on the uh, on the y-axis X sub L on the x-axis R the angle be formed between them in determining the the uh, hypotenuse or using the Pythagorean theorem gives us the vector Z. The length of the phasor then represents, represents the magnitude in ohms. So this vector length here, which can be drawn on a piece of graph paper, you just have to draw it to scale, would become the magnitude. And then you would find the angle between Z and R made by the Pythagorean theorem. The angle theta then is the phase angle of the RCs of the, uh, that should be RL, the RL circuit and represents the phase difference between the applied voltage and the current. Let's see if I can fix that. Here we go. Okay. So the total relationship for the phasor Z is equal to the vector sum, the square root of R, of R squared plus X sub L squared and the angle that it makes the tangent of X sub L over R. Okay. The development then of the triangle then forms that relationship. So again in your notebooks write down this relationship. Now we're dealing with the impedance and phase angle for RL circuits. This will be something you'll use over and over again and understanding this right triangle relationship. You see we moved X sub L from the left 
to the right here and made our, our uh, right triangle relationship. Looking at an example then, for the circuit then we want to write the phasor expression of, for the impedance of both rectangular and polar forms. So in this case, since there is no inductor, we have a pure resistive circuit with a sinusoidal input. R is equal to 56 ohms. You'll notice J's, the J term, the X of L is zero. So the resistance is 56 degrees and there is no phase angle. So the impedance is simply equal to the resistance and the phase angle is zero because pure resistance does not introduce a phase shift. If we look at just a purely inductive circuit then, using the, fame, the same relationship, Z is equal to now R is zero plus J X sub L. In this case, since notice it's given to us in ohms already, so it's X sub L, it's not a, a value for an inductor in Henry's, is 100 ohms. So Z, the impedance, the, uh, the vector um, phasor quantity X sub L at 90 degrees, Again, 90 degrees, we know that because it's a purely inductive circuit, 100 at an angle of 90 degrees ohms. Notice that whole quantity there is ahead of the ohm side. It's not 100 ohms at 90 degrees. The way we write it is 100 at an angle of 90 degree ohms. The impedance equals the inductive reactance in this case, and the phase angle is 90 degrees because the inductance causes the current to lag the voltage by 90 degrees. Some of you may remember your uh, terms or got introduced to something called Eli the Ice Man. Eli, voltage leads um, current. Ice Man, ICE, you know, for the uh, current and the um, voltage. Okay, one for Eli for inductors, ice for capacitors. Now for the circuit, we're going to add that 56 ohm resistor to the 100 ohm reactive uh, inductive reactance here of 100 ohms. And to do this, then now we put both terms in the rectangular 56 ohms plus J 100 ohms. If we want to do the conversion then from a rectangular to a polar, then we put it in to the conversion formula, Pythagorean theorem, inverse tangent. When we do that, 56 ohms squared, 100 ohms squared, take the square root after summing it, take the inverse tangent of 100 over 56. In this case, actually the ohmic values will cancel out because ohms over ohms cancels. And we get <coughs> 115 at an angle of 60.8 degrees ohms. In this case, the impedance is the phasor sum of the resistance and the inductive reactance. The phase angle is fixed by the relative values X sub L and R. So next, when we come back, we're going to take a look at uh, an, the analysis of series RL circuits and understanding Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's laws as it applies to the analysis of RL circuits in determining voltage, current, and impedance. Again, also for RL, lead and lag circuits are examined.